Hello, my name is Caitlin. I am a full-time college student who makes low income and gets paid pot well gets paid bi-weekly. Uh, today I'm going to be cash stuffing my first paycheck of November. If you're interested at all, please subscribe. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and count the money that is currently in front of me. Um put on some press-on nails today. Not sure how long they'll actually stay for because I'm always terrible at putting them on, but I guess we shall see. How is everyone doing? 51, 52, 50. So 250 and 50s. Uh, today you will see that some of my sinking funds have gone down since the last time I cash stuffed. 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, I know that I mentioned it a little bit in my um, in my sinking funds update video that I just did. But no, it's just been <laughs> That kind of that kind of month so far, 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, I feel like everything always hits at the same time. And sometimes that's just life. But how is everyone doing? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I know that as holidays hit, it can start getting really stressful for people if it hasn't been already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. But, um, so today we're going to be cash shuffing $435. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, things aren't too, too stressful yet for ya. I am debating right now if I want to start buying Christmas presents now or if I want to wait until... Um, Black Friday. I think I'm going to do most of my shopping online this year uh, just because it's easier that way. And I think I'm going to be picking up a cash tray too soon at some point um, just so that I can get all the money within just this area. Uh, but first thing first, we're going to go ahead and look at my cash envelopes. Uh, currently, all of my envelopes are empty. I'm also having to film currently at my kitchen table because it's dark outside at six o'clock. So uh, usually I used to film uh, either right after like work or right after class because um, I have my class for most of the semester. It's like four to like 5.45 p.m. Um, but that no longer works at my desk. So we'll have to see, this might be the new spot for winter or maybe I'll start doing it earlier in the day if I can. I guess we'll see. Uh, so first thing to get stuffed is groceries. It's actually getting $70 today. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, you know that what I used to do is I would have a $100 um, budget for groceries. $50 of it would go towards my sister for a food subscription service and $50 would go into this envelope. We canceled the food subscription service and I decided to test and see if I could do two weeks of groceries on just $70. Um, the cat is poking their head in right now. Um, hi, please go that way. But um, I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Um, I guess I'll see. It is a pretty small budget that leaves it at like, $35 a week. Household is getting $5. Salem. Okay, well, he's currently just kind of covering some of the money, so we'll see. As long as he doesn't cause, we can leave him up here for now. Gas is getting its normal 100, so 250s.
but yeah with everything raising in price it's getting harder and harder to actually save I feel like oh oh thank thank you yeah that's that's a great spot for you food is ten dollars oh Salem one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so this food envelope is for food on campus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, but because I don't want to, I'm trying to like keep my budget the same, but it's getting harder and harder. So I think some point soon, I'm probably actually going to have to increase. Uh, some of these normal cash envelopes to a higher amount because just things are ridiculous right now. Uh, going out is getting five dollars. Hope you don't mind the cat paw over here covering up the cash. Spending is also getting five dollars. The cats are getting 50, which he's already claimed. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Salem, Salem, can you not? Salem, I don't want to have to kick you off the table, but I will. The, oh, thank you. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And miscellaneous is my giving envelope, and that's just getting a dollar. Oh, oh, thanks. These guys are ridiculous. I've been having to print a lot of papers lately for class, um, just for exams and everything. And uh, they love to play with the printer paper as it comes out. Salem, let's not. They uh, think it's like an automated toy. Okay, bud, we're gonna have to get you off the table. Okay, I just turned on an automated uh, cat toy that's kind of close to the table, so hopefully you can't hear it, but if you can, that's what that sound is right now. Cash envelopes are done. All right, on to high priority. Well, at least they're watching the laser pointer right now. Okay, first thing, emergency is getting $80, so it's getting the last 50, a 20, and a 10. Uh, and as you're about to see, my emergency fund did actually go down quite a bit. Um, I just had a situation last, last month where there was just a bunch of stuff going on right at the end of the month that ended up needing money um, that was not budgeted for. Um, so I needed to pull out of here, which stinks, but I am so happy that it was here and that I didn't end up in like a bad situation where I couldn't pay my bills for having to do something else. So in here there's five, 50, 70, 80. Um, so hopefully I can build this back up. At least there's still now almost $600 in here, so. Hopefully still by the end of the year, I'll be able to hit $1,000 in the emergency fund. Uh, and then in between emergency funded birthdays is um, paying for my credit card. I put $100 again onto that credit card. Um, hopefully soon I can start, once I graduate and start working more hours, I can put way more onto that card because uh, pretty much at this point, like what I put towards the card each month is paying off mostly interest. Uh, so it's not really doing much, but at the moment, you know, I have other things that are important and I know I'll be making a lot different of an income in just like, um, uh, pretty much just over a month. So it'll be okay. And I'll be able to pay that down a lot faster. Um, but birthdays now it's getting $10. That is the only money in here. Um, I bought my sister's birthday gift and my boyfriend's birthday gift. Uh, and that was great. I used exactly actually the $75 in there. Christmas is getting 30. It is close to time. Um, and actually too, I'm able to use some of my fetch rewards for a gift card to buy some gifts. Um, so if any of you don't know, uh, 
there is an app called Fetch Rewards where you scan your receipts and you get points and at a certain number of points you can get gift cards for it. Um, I have my code down in the description below. Uh, if you download the app and use that code and then you have to just scan your first receipt, we both get, uh, I don't know exactly how many points it is, but we both get points to start us off with, which is awesome. So highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be able to get a gift card, um, to help pay some of Christmas, which I'm excited for. So in Christmas right now, there is one, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 380, 390, 405 dollars. Let me double check. That is correct. So $405 in Christmas. Car maintenance is getting $5. Um, once I bought most of the Christmas gifts, I'm going to have to start bulking this up. Um, I just remembered that in January, I'm going to have to get car registration because uh, that's when my birthday is. So that also means it's registration time. So I'll have to get that done soon. Uh, in car maintenance, there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97. I think car maintenance, oh, I think car maintenance is like $110 for my car. So we're close to that at least, but I'd still like some more in here just in case since I have an older car. Savings is getting $5. So 520, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. $5,699 in savings? Nope, it is $5.99. I don't know why I suddenly thought, again, I wish I had just put a dollar in here to get us over that threshold. So close. Retirement also getting $5. Uh, once I start this new job too, I'll no longer have, I think, retirement as a um, envelope. I'm going to start dedicating, I think maybe 10% of what I make next year to go directly to retirement. Um, uh, I plan once I start my new job next year, I'll start in February. Um, since I'm taking that trip in January to celebrate finishing college. Um, but afterwards I'll go through a detailed plan of what I'm going to do with my new finances. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Okay, so in retirement, there's 500, 600, 650, 670, 680, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 690 in retirement. Nothing going into stock up. I'm actually debating just get, getting rid of this. Um, at this point, I feel like I don't end up putting money into here after. If I have money left in my envelopes, I end up putting it other places. Nothing in back to bank. All right, so that's it with high priority. On to medium priority. Sorority Dues is getting its last $21. And with this, my dues for this semester are done. 20, 40, 40, 40, wow, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Keeping this envelope, but it's going to be moved to a different place. I think at the start of the year, I'm actually going to make a whole binder dedicated towards um, paying off debt. We'll check and see. Vacation is getting $17 today. And 
This is also a place that last, uh, at the end of last month was a big one. Um, in March, I'm going on a week long trip with um, a couple of my sisters, or yeah, a week long trip with a couple of my sisters uh, and their partners and some of their friends. Uh, we're all renting a house together um, because it's in March, May, one of those. I was expecting that I'd have time to stock up this fund, but um, we needed to rent the house very early. So someone else rented it and put it on their card. Uh, so I paid them back for my portion and it was like $158. And as you know, there was not that money in here. So I currently have it on the back that I owe $139 to this fund. Um, so I need to get that fast because I also need money in here for January. So for now, I'm going to put in the 17. Um, and then I know somehow I'll find a way to get some more money in here by the end of the year to bulk it up. But this money is going to end up going towards um, in the future. I'll probably pull it out to pay myself back that 139 or I might wait to do that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Family time is getting a dollar. There is two dollars in here. Fan is getting a dollar. Fan has 50, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74 dollars. Property also getting a dollar. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, fifty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight dollars in property. Self-care, you guessed it, a dollar. $10, 15 20 25 30 35 36 37 dollars in self-care uh the cats a dollar so there's two dollars in here they're loving their new scratching boards. Uh, they use them all the time. So I'm very happy that I have this fun so I can just get them things like that. Uh, I think next year, near the beginning of the year, though, I am going to have to take them for a vet visit to get their next round of shots. So that will be something I'm going to have to save up for. Uh, and gifts is not getting anything today. There's $13 in there. So that's it for medium priority. On to low and savings challenges. So nothing going in apartment. There's nothing in there currently. Clothing is also getting nothing. There's a dollar in there. This I actually do need to bulk up. Uh, I really need a winter coat. I The one that I had for the last couple years no longer fits this year. Um, so I am actually gonna need a budget a lot for this I think maybe the sorority dues that I've been paying I'll put into here and then try and go hit maybe like a Salvation Army or somewhere to find a coat for cheap because uh, I live in Michigan so it does in fact get cold uh, medical also nothing in 100 envelopes challenge uh, that's my first savings challenge that I'm gonna stuff and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this student loan repayment and I'm gonna keep this for next year when I do loan repayments. I did apply for um, the student loan relief. So I need to wait and see if that hits at all. Um, so I'm just gonna wait with that and see what happens. So I'm gonna pull this 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 dollars out of here. And I planned on stuffing eight dollars into my envelopes challenge today. And I'll just put these together. So five, six, seven, eight. Ten, 
to do one of the higher envelopes. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Is that correct? Six. Yeah, thirty-four dollar. I'm gonna color in. And you have a nice little cattail in the shot right now. <laughs> All right, and on to my last savings challenge. Uh, so it's the chill out challenge. Last week we scratched off three dollars. So we're gonna go ahead and put one, two, three in there. And these savings challenges, I don't count until my sinking funds update video. So if you're interested at all to know how much is in each of these, um, I'd recommend that video. And now we need to choose one of these. Um, hmm. Your tail keeps hitting this one. I think it's a sign. We'll go ahead and do this one. All right, I scratched off $6. So next week or next paycheck in two weeks, I'll go ahead and put $6 into this envelope. I am really loving this challenge. Um, it's really nice, especially since I make low income, to be able to just put in low amounts but still, like, participate in a challenge. Because I know that this is, this one can be a little bit higher, so I have the versatility if I have extra money. So I'm really loving this one. Uh, if you're interested at all in getting it, I have the um, Instagram linked it down below of the girl that sent this to me. Uh, I really love this. So with that, that is all. Uh, next week, I believe I'll be stuffing my um, YouTube paycheck that I am going to be getting paid. So next week should be my second YouTube paychecking. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and that the stress of the holidays and the end of the year isn't too hard on you at the moment. Uh, hope you enjoyed all the cat cameos today. I know that they were kind of messing everything up, but you know what? I love them, so it's okay. But um, otherwise, yeah, I hope you all do well and have an amazing week and a great rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.